This is what we are going to achieve using Azure Logic App. When, when there's a new email arrived in Outlook, Logic App get triggered and extracted the attachment and saved it in the Azure storage. We are going to implement this solution without any codes. Let's create the Azure Logic App. So select the Logic App. So you call this. You can just search here and go to the Logic App. So it, it brings you here. So we need to hit Add. It will bring us the visa to create Logic App. Subscription, multiple subscription, the resource group I have, resource group already, email watch RG, logic cap name, uh, you can name it unique logic cap name, this should be unique around the world. So, look, email, watch yep, that's the one I'm naming it, and the plan type consumption, I'm picking up consumption. So, others. I will leave it as it is and hit the leave review and create. This might take some time, so we have to wait a little while. Still deploying. Yep, it's done. We can go to resource. Okay, it gives us some templates to get started with, but I don't select any of the, the templated, then I would like to use blank logic app. Then we should have a trigger, so somehow this function app to, go, to be executed, we should have a trigger. So what we need to do is, uh, we need to use the Outlook as a trigger. So I'm just picking up the Outlook. There should be multiple triggered. The when new emails arrives, if it is not showing, just search for this one. It will bring. Okay, the folder. Okay, I am already authenticated this one. Otherwise, you will come up with some prompt to authenticate to Outlook.com. So what we really need to do is. Uh, you need to sign in so it will uh, take you to sign in and authenticate to outlook the folder uh, what is the outlook mailbox folder and important so okay, we can define some configuration parameters uh, when the trigger should activate it here only with the attachment so i i will make it yes so we need trigger to need trigger to be activated only when there is an attachment in the email. Include attachment when pass this on Azure Logic App. Yes, and we can add additional parameters. So we have multiple other parameters supported by that connector. So but I am just going to use the subject filter. I put that the email test so this will uh, look for the subject so only when subject contain email test uh, this trigger will get activated otherwise it won't activate it so then another step so what I need to do is uh, create blob in the storage account okay create blob this is the action we need storage account yep I have already 
authenticate as this one otherwise you can just go to the uh, change connection you can just uh, add a connection from here something similar to add new so here you can just uh, name a connection so how do you need to connect okay can we create a new connection uh, storage connection this is the name you can name it whatever it you want and how do you authenticate to the storage account so I'm going to pick the access key and so we need the so storage account name and the key so I have created the storage account uh, okay The storage account and I'm going to access keys which is the storage account so I need the key okay now once you configure that done we can pick the connection to storage the email watch storage that is the storage account name the folder path this is the container i have created the attachment container in this storage account the block path the specified name of the block to create it so this one I'm going to leave message to the message ID develop name should be the attachment attachments dot attachments attachment ID so I will show you something the moment I add this one this converted the for each block so that means uh, we need to loop through all the attachments attachments is a list of object so that's why uh, we have a for each so we need to loop through all the attachments and uh, get the attachment id it really makes our life easier we don't need to create those things manually so the block content what should be the block content it's attachment content yep attachment contents that's it now save this on just run the trigger for the just to validate whether trigger works okay so now we can test so i can send an email to this email with the subject of email test and with the attachment so i'm going to send an email i just sent an email let's see what happened in, in the logic cab so we can just go to the run history tab and the trigger history to just to check the trigger history and the run history just refresh yep it's running so if we go to the trigger history we can see what happened so if you just refresh yep it succeeded so if we go to the attachment container and just refresh they should be blocked this is the attachment so i just sent an email uh, with the attachment now this attachment is extracted and saved in the story so we did this uh, one with the azure logica without any save <laughs> this is how we, uh, we can utilize azure logica to read uh, emails
and extract the attachments and save it into storage account without any code.